Hello, this is Tim McAvoy with the BGA Insurance Group, and today we want to address an issue that a lot of our clients have been asking about and calling in, as the fiduciary rule was set in on June 9, 2017. A lot of people ask in general, what is that rule in place to do? Well, it was designed to protect Americans' retirement money that they worked hard for. So moving forward, ever since June 9, um, this year, brokers have to disclose many things to their clients that they didn't used to have to do. One of those is their compensation. A broker must disclose to their client how they get paid, why they get paid, how often, and how much, which people don't really agree with anymore. You know, when you go to buy a car at the Chevy dealer, they don't tell you how much commission they make off of that Camaro or that Silverado they're selling you. If they did, you might offer a lower bid price, right? Well, in this case, we have to disclose how much we get paid off different products. The nice thing about this for the American people is that this eliminated all incentives from a company to offer extra commission to a broker to offer a particular product. So they're going to show you multiple products moving forward, and the broker has to establish suitability for what meets the needs of the client, which we call the BIC, best interest of our clients. So everyone has different goals in retirement, and generally speaking, most people will tell you that they worked hard for their money, they don't want to risk it and lose it and have to go back to work for five more years if the market has a downturn. Generally speaking, most clients will tell you that they don't plan on spending that money. They would like to leave it for their legacy to their children or their family or their church, but if they need to access it, they want to be able to do that. So in order to establish the best product to fit the needs of the client, a broker needs to do a needs analysis sheet, also commonly called a fact finder. This way they know the tolerance of the risk for the client, whether they're moderate, they want to be safe, or they want to take a little bit of risk with their money. They also need to know the client's income, what tax bracket they fall into, and when they designed to draw off that case, okay? Some people put $100,000 away for five years before they touch it, when they're required to by the IRS for their required minimum distribution. Some people want to spend it right away in retirement because they need that money to maintain their cost of living and the lifestyle that they've been accustomed to, okay? I mentioned fact finding and needs analysis. Everyone's goals are different, which I know I've already talked about a little bit, but if a broker doesn't do this and the insurance department comes back and asks them why they put a client in a certain product or why they made that recommendation, they have to hold this on file. Even if it's 10 years down the road, they have to be able to say, well, I showed my client three different products. I thought this would meet their needs because of this, that, and this that they told me, and that's why I feel it's the best for them. I disclosed to them how much I got paid, I told them how the product works, and they've been happy with it ever since. That way they're compliant, everything is suitable for our clients, and everyone's happy in the end. If you have further questions, please feel free to go to our website at bjainsurance.net, and we can always do a personal consultation for you. Have a great day.